Hey guys, Kevin here with eTrailer, and today I'm going to show you how to install the Bauer Products Horse and Utility Trailer Entry Door Lock. So I get a lot of questions from customers needing to replace their door lock for a multiple reasons. Maybe the door lock broke, maybe the deadbolt inside is no longer functioning, uh, maybe the gearing got stripped inside, or just you lost the key or the lock core uh, gave out. Maybe it rusted away and you just need to replace the whole entry door lock itself. Um, to do that, it's fairly simple. You're just going to have to take off your old existing entry door lock and then measure your cutout hole to find the right fit. So our black plastic component here is actually made of a glass filled nylon. So it's not, it's gonna resist UV rays. It won't fade out real bad. You won't see it starting to get that white, like soapy look on it. And then our metal components are actually made with a zinc coating so that they're going to resist rust so that when you're sticking your key in and out and leaving this uncovered for the winter maybe through the rain and all that you're not gonna have to worry about these getting all rusted out and then not working so the installation of this horse and utility trailer door lock is fairly simple you're just removing your four bolts holding in the existing uh, entry door lock and then just swapping this new one right in but let me show you how i did that so to start off our installation, we're going to have to remove our old entry door lock. To do that, you're going to need to be on the inside of your door. It's going to have most likely just four screws, depending on your model. Pull these out. And then I'm also gonna have to take off this kick plate right here. Now that I have that off, we can pull up our back plate, pull our handle out and just slide that right out. So to measure your cutout hole, simply going to measure just the width, which we got, it's like about two and three quarters and then the height is about three and a half and then one other important measurement that you're going to want is the door thickness which is right at an inch and three eighths you will have to verify this with each uh, camper door lock entry door lock uh, that you're wanting to purchase just to make sure that it actually is going to fit your door because there is a door thickness requirement and then also a minimum cutout requirement if you there's multiple doors where the actual trim on the outside is going to be a whole lot larger, especially if you get like a keyless entry one. So you wouldn't have to worry as much about that unless it's super close to the edge of the door. If you have some trim or in our case, we've got another door lock in the way. All right. So now we have our old door lock removed. We're going to put in our new one to start. We're going to throw in the inside portion first. Gonna have to slide that in. It's a little bit tight just to start, but once we got it in place, we got a little bit more room. We're going to take our kick plate and screw that in first just to hold this in place so that when I screw on the back, we don't have this falling out. So just remember when you take the, uh, take this off that the thinner side is gonna be more towards our door gasket, just for the space. And we'll slide that in and start screwing it down. I'm not going to tighten it all the way until I get the other screw in. And now we can tighten that back up. And now we can put on the back side. All right, so you may need to kind of move your latch here just a little bit just to kind of line it up because it does have a flat side on it. And then also just make sure that you have your handle closed because it needs to sit on this side. Otherwise, if it comes up over here, you're not going to be able to open your door. So we'll slide that into place. Make sure that our handle's on the right side and then we can start screwing this in. Now I'm not going to tighten all these down all the way just so that we can get each hole in first. So if you tighten down one side too much, you may be off just a little bit and it won't want to go into place. Now that we've got each screw started, I'm going to tighten up all of our screws. All 
So since we're replacing our existing entry door lock, we may actually have to replace the kick plate as well. Uh, you can just, I mean, this will take two seconds, just close your entry door lock, make sure that it actually latches on here to test. You may be able to just reuse it. Uh, if not, you will have to just double check that your holes are gonna line up here with the new kick plate that they give you. You may have, end up having to fill in some holes or maybe drill your own holes. I've had a couple of customers before who have had to drill a different hole in just because the area that they were needing to drill their hole for the new kick plate uh, was gonna interfere with an existing hole. Well, feels pretty good to me. I think that about does it for our installation of the Bauer Products Horse and Utility Trailer Entry Door Lock. My name's Kevin. Thanks for watching, guys.